Hey guys, so today I wanted to give you my thoughts and some swatches of a palette that I picked up on Amazon, which I think is a dupe for the Juvia's Place palettes. It looks like this. It is the Miskos Charming Moist Eyeshadow Palette. That's the only name that it gives you. It says online, I think 16, 16 shadow palette is what they call it. It has the, I think, giraffe on the front. So very similar packaging to the Juvia's Place. So if you guys are curious to see swatches and my thoughts on this palette, then just keep watching. Okay, so front looks like this, the back is blank. This retails for, I'll put the price right here because I forget, honestly. So inside you get the plastic shadow cover, you get a nice large mirror, and then you get 16 shades. They look like this. You have a mixture of mattes and shimmers, so I'm going to insert swatches right here. Okay, so as you can see, we have in the first row, one matte and three shimmers, second row, one matte, three shimmers, third row, one matte, one shimmer, this one's like a satin, and this one looks like a shimmer, and then on the bottom row, the only one that looks like a slight shimmer is this red, the other three look like they are matte. So let's talk about my thoughts on this palette. I am wearing it on the eyes today. I put... See if I can hold it like this. Let's see. Okay, so I put this like plummy shade in the crease. Then on the outer portion, I added a little bit of these two. And then to warm up the look ever so slightly, I added some of this like warm brown shade. And I used this kind of like whitish gold shade under the brow and in the inner corner, but that's already worn off. I put my makeup on this morning around 8 a.m. It is now almost 8 o'clock at night. Um, if you're curious what I'm wearing today, I am wearing the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation, the Japanesque Velvet Touch Face Palette for my blush, bronzer, and highlight, the Pixi Matte Last Liquid Lipstick in Evening Rose on my lips, which has lasted all day long. And then for my mascara, I'm wearing both the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced and the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. And one of them is transferring little black smudges below my, um, below my eyes. And I don't know which one. I feel like I've used this one for years and never had that problem. And I just started using this one. So I'm wondering if it's this one. Let me know if you guys have had this problem with one of these mascaras to help me figure out which one it is. Um, anyway, so... I think that the shadows did amazingly well. I didn't use an eye primer. I didn't even use a base. This is just on my skin. Like I, I'm really, really blown away by how saturated the colors are, how easily they blended, how long they wore, and there's absolutely no creasing whatsoever. It looks like I just applied my eyeshadow and it's been 12 hours. So the shades are really nice. Um, I didn't foil any shadows. I used them all dry today same with the swatches these are all dry swatches the some of the darker shades required several several dips back into the pan to get like this opaque color but still i mean i usually go in once or twice with a darker shade anyway so i'm not complaining these are actually really fun colors and i will definitely continue to play with this i love colorful palettes like this like the ColourPop dream street one that has like greens and reds and oranges and golds I love playing with color. So this is definitely a palette that I will be reaching for again. I think it's a really good deal. You can get it on Amazon, so I assume it ships to almost anywhere. So let me know if you have tried any of the Miskos palettes. I would love to hear your thoughts on them, but for me, it is a thumbs up. It definitely is a good palette. So hope you guys enjoyed this swatch and review of the Miskos palette. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.